define a polynomial equation with integer coefficient that has the following roots. 1, minus 2, and 5, minus 5. So, if, if this is the root 1, so this is x minus 1, and this is root minus 2, that means that this is x plus 2, and if this is the root minus 5, then this is x plus 5 equals 0. Because when you solve this x minus 1, so when we solve this, so let's say um, x minus 1 equals 0, then x is equal to 1. So you get this root. This is the root 1. So it's the um, sign is the opposite. So when you have factor, this is minus, and when you have root, then this is positive. So we have this um, three factors, x minus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 5 equals 0. Now to find the polynomial, we have to multiply these three together. So let's do this two, and then next one is this, um, the last one, the last um, factor. So first let's do this two. So we have an x times, times an x gives you x squared, and then x times two is plus two x, and then we, ha we have a minus one times x is a minus x, and then minus one times a plus two is a minus two. So we still have that x plus five, so now we combine like terms, we have x squared, now 2x minus x is plus x, and then we have a 2 minus 2, and then now we multiply the x plus 5. So x times x squared is x cubed, x times an x is an x squared, x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. Now we multiply the 5. 5 times x squared is 5x squared, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times a minus 2 is a minus 10, equals 0. So now we combine like terms, we have an x squared, so I circle that. So now we have an x squared plus 5x squared for a net of 6 squared. So now we have a minus 2x and a plus 5x for a net of plus 3x. Now we have this minus 10 uh, equals 0. Now this is the polynomial that we're looking for. So now if we substitute the numbers like the 1, minus 2, and minus 5, we should get 0. So let's try substituting substituting 1. So we have a 1 cubed plus 6 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 10. Does it equal to 0? So this is 1 plus 6 plus 3 minus 10 equals 0. So 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 3 is 10, 10 minus 10 is indeed 0, so it's correct. Now the minus 2, you can um, substitute, substitute it if you want it, or, okay let's do it, minus 2. So we have a minus 2 cubed plus 6 times a minus 2 squared minus 2 times a minus 2 oh no so sorry, let's, um, this is a plus 3 times a minus 2 and then a minus 10 does it equal to 0 2 times 2 times 2 is a minus 8 plus the minus 2 times minus 2 is a plus 4 and times 6 is 24 
and then here we have a minus 6 minus 10 does it equal to 0 so we have a minus 8 plus 24 minus 6 so this is minus 16 by plus 16 which is plus now here we have a minus 16 well 0 and 0 is equal to 0 